This Bible in the year reading is from the book of Exodus, chapters 14 and 15. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, Speak to the Israelites, let them turn about and camp before Piharirath, between Migdal and the sea, camp in front of Baldaphon, just opposite by the sea. Pharaoh will, will then say, The Israelites are wandering about aimlessly in the land. The wilderness has closed in on them. I will so harden Pharaoh's heart that he will pursue them. Thus I will receive glory through Pharaoh and all his army, and the Egyptians will know that I am the Lord. This the Israelites did when it was reported to the king of Egypt that the people had fled. Pharaoh and his servants had a change of heart about the people. What in the world have we done, they said. We have released Israel from our service. So Pharaoh harnessed his chariots and took his army with him. He took 600 select chariots and all the chariots of Egypt with officers on all of them. The Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, so that he pursued the Israelites while they were going out in triumph. The e Egyptians pursued them. All Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, his horsemen, and his army, and caught up with them as they lay in camp by the sea at Pihirath, in front of Baal-Zephon. Now Pharaoh was near when the Israelites looked up and saw that the Egyptians had set out after them. Greatly frightened, the Israelites cried out to the Lord. To Moses they said, Were there no burial places in Egypt that you brought us to die in the wilderness? What have you done to us, bringing us out of Egypt? Did we not tell you this in Egypt when we said, Leave us alone, that we may serve the Egyptians? Far better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the wilderness. But Moses answered, The people do not fear. Stand your ground and see the victory of the Lord will win for you today. For these Egyptians whom you see today, we will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You have only to keep still. Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to set out. If you lift up your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and split it in two, that the Israelites may pass through the sea on dry land. But I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians so that they will go in after them. And I will receive glory through Pharaoh and all his army, his chariots and his horsemen. The Egyptians will know that I am the Lord when they receive glory through Pharaoh and his chariots and his horsemen. The angel of God who had been leading Israel's army now moved on and went around behind them. And the column of cloud moving from in front of them took up its place behind them, so that it came between the Egyptian army and that of Israel, and when it became dark, the cloud illumined the night, and so the rival camps did not come any closer together all night long. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord drove back the sea with a strong east wind all night long, and turned the sea into dry ground. The waters were split, so that the Israelites entered into the midst of the sea on dry land, with the water as a wall to the right and to the left. The Egyptians followed and pursued after them all Pharaoh's horses and chariots and horsemen into the midst of the sea. But during the watch just before dawn, the Lord looked down from a column of fiery cloud upon the Egyptian army and threw into a panic, and he so clogged their chariot wheels that they could drive only with difficulty. With that, the Egyptians said, Let us flee from Israel, because the Lord is fighting for them against Egypt. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea that the water may flow back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots and their horsemen. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at daybreak the sea returned to its normal flow. The Egyptians were fleeing head on toward it when the Lord cast the Egyptians into the midst of the sea. As the water flowed back, it covered the chariots and the horsemen of all Pharaoh's army, which had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not even one escaped. But the Israelites had walked on dry land through the midst of the sea with the water as they walked to their right and to their left. Thus said the Lord, it saved Israel on that day from the power of Egypt. When Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the seashore and saw the great power that the Lord had shown against Egypt, the people feared the Lord. They believed in the Lord and in Moses his servant. Chapter 15, Then Moses and the Israelites sang this song to the Lord. I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. My strength and my refuge is the Lord, and he has become my Savior. This is my God, I praise him. The God of my Father, I extol him. The Lord is a warrior. Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and army he hurled into the sea. The elite of his officers were drowned in the Red Sea. 
The flood water covered them, they sank into depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, magnificent in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shattered the enemy. In your great majesty, you overthrew the adversaries. You loosed your wrath to consume them like stubble. At the blast of your nostrils, the water piled up. The flowing water stood like a mound. The flood waters foamed in the midst of the sea. The enemy boasted, I will pursue and overtake them. I will divide the spoils and have my fill of them. I will draw my sword. My hand will despoil them. When you blew your breath, the sea covered them like lead. They sank into the mighty waters. Who is like you among the gods, O Lord? Who is like you, magnificent among the holy ones? Awe-inspiring in deeds of renown, worker of wonders. When you stretched out your right hand, the earth swallowed them. In your love, you led the people you redeemed. In your strength, you guided them to your holy dwelling. The peoples heard and quaked. Anguish gripped the dwellers in Philistia. Then were... Then were the chieftains of Edom dismayed, the nobles of Moab seized and trembling. All the inhabitants of Canaan melted away, terror and dread fell upon them. By the might of your arm they became silent like stone while your people, Lord, passed over, while the people whom you created passed over. You brought them in, you planted them on a mountain that is your own. You placed, you made the base of your throne, Lord, the sanctuary, Lord, your hands established. May the Lord reign forever and ever. When Pharaoh's horses and chariots and horsemen entered the sea, the Lord made waters of the sea flow back upon them. Though the Israelites walked on dry land through the midst of the sea, then the prophet Miriam, Aaron's sister, took a tambourine in her hand while all the women went out after her with tambourines dancing. She responded to them, sing to the Lord, for he's gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. Then Moses led Israel forward from the Red Sea, and they marched out in the wilderness of Shur. After traveling for three days through the wilderness without finding water, they arrived at Marah, where they could not drink its water because it was too bitter. Hence, this place was called Marah. As the people grumbled against Moses, saying, What are we to drink? He cried out to the Lord, who pointed out to him a piece of wood. When he threw it into the water, the water became fresh. It was here that God, in making statutes and ordinances for them, put them to the test. He said, if you listen closely to the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his eyes, if you heed his commandments and keep his statutes, I will not afflict you with any of the diseases which I afflicted the Egyptians. For I, the Lord, am your healer. Then they came to Elam, where they were twelve springs of water and seventy palm trees, and they camped there near the water. Thank you for listening. God bless you and I love you.